Welcome back to Grandpa's Time. Hey grandkids. I just wanted to do a quick video today on water water collection. Suburban water collection if you're in some kind of an emergency. I just have a couple quick ideas for how to collect water. That's all you need. A bucket, an umbrella, and a tarp. And I'm going to show you two different ways. If I had a bigger tarp and I could do the whole back of my truck, but that, my truck's at an angle, it should still catch quite a bit of water. We'll see. I'm kind of curious about this. I think I'll, I think what I'll do is I'll actually open it up and punch some holes in the bottom. See how much larger your surface area is instead of just having the bucket out. Now you've got a whole lot more surface area. So we'll give that a try. Okay, it's set up. Now I'm just going to poke some holes in the bottom. See how fast I can get this five gallon bucket filled up. Now if it was just the bucket, it would probably only get, you know, however much it rains today. If it rains an inch, then I'm probably going to only, you know, if it rains an inch, that's a lot of water, but I'm probably not going to get a whole lot in that bucket. But this way I've got more surface area, so you can already see it starting to run down. That's about an hour. And like I said, I would have done a lot better if I could have lined the whole bed with a big tarp. But I hope you can see that. We'll see how it looks tomorrow morning. There's about an inch of water in the bucket after about an hour. It'd be better if I had a clean bucket for this, but we're just practicing. See how it looks at the after. Uh, well, we'll see how it looks tomorrow morning. What's up? That's about 15 hours. 24 hours of pretty steady rain and got quite the pond in the back of the truck. Hope you can see that. That's several gallons. Everybody come downstairs and I'll light your candle, okay? Let's move this out of the picture. Oh, yeah, no, we gotta sing to you first, okay? Is it gonna blow up?